Hey guys, welcome back to some more OCR FSMQ with Joe. These are the lessons, uh, stationary points today. I, I did say in the last episode that it was going to be integration, but I forgot that stationary points was before that. So the learning objective is to use differentiation to work out the stationary points of curves. And we'll quickly talk about minimum and maximum points, but that is a later lesson where I uh, basically did a bit of an odds and ends lesson right at the end of the course. So the graph of y equals x squared minus 10x plus 12 is shown below. There are only a few places in uh, that us mathematicians are actually interested in. So uh, we've got the point where it cuts the y-axis and the point where it cuts the x-axis. And also this point here where the graph sort of bottoms out, it looks a little bit flat um, and you could possibly draw a line of symmetry down there depending on the equation of the curve but that, that's where that the, the gradient equals zero where it bottoms out so that is called a stationary point and it has no gradient because it kind of stops if you think about uh, a ball running down there it sort of stops it'll travel in a straight line we'll talk about that when we're talking about motion and then it comes back up so to find a stationary point, we differentiate, we set it equal to 0 and solve for x, and then shove that back through the equation and substitute back for y. So um, gradient equals 0, so uh, we use the gradient finder, we set that equal to 0, because we know the gradient must be 0, so solve for x, and shove that back through to find the y. So there we go. For this one, we do y the exit, so power to the front, 2x, and uh, power to the front, minus 10, and the constant disappears. We set that equal to 0. And then we take the 10 over the other side and we get x equals 5 because we divide both sides by 2. And then we shove that 5 back through the original equation to find out what y coordinate at that point. And we'll get 25 minus 50 plus 21 which is minus 4. So the stationary point of that, uh, of that curve is 5 minus 4. Right there. And that looks about right to me. If you look at the graph that's, that's definitely the point 5. And that looks about right for minus 4. Here's another one. The graph of y equals x squared plus 12x minus 28 is shown. Find the coordinates of the stationary point. There it is there. Do I the exit power to the front, not 1 off the power. So it's going to be 2x plus 12. Uh, set that equal to 0, like that. And then we'll take the, the 12 over the other side, and we're going to get x equals minus 6. We'll shove that back through. The equation to get that and your y is minus 64, which is quite a lot, uh, quite a, a, a large negative number, and that should say 64 there, but it says 54 for some reason, so change that there. So the the coordinates of that stationary point is minus 6, minus 64. Right. Here's another one. Is it the same one? I think it is. There you go. It's the same one. Never mind. Right. These are the more interesting ones. Uh, the graph of y equals x cubed plus 3x squared minus 45x plus 21 is shown. Find the coordinates of the stationary points. So there's multiple. The examiner will sort of lead you into that, but you should really know if it's an x cubed, it's going to have two stationary points. If it's a quartic, it's going to have three, and so on and so on. If it's a squared, it'll only have one. Um, but as you can see, that works because it's got two distinct turning points on the curve. It's got one here and one here as well. So we're tackling the same way. We do dy by dx, 3x squared plus 6x minus 45. And we'll set it equal to 0. I'm seeing a common factor of 3 there, so I would probably divide everything by 3. But I don't know if I did that here. I did. So x squared plus 2x minus 15 equals 0. And then I'll factorise that. Whichever way you want to, you can use quadratic formula, completing the square, whatever floats your boat really, however you solve quadratics. But that one does factorise and you're going to get an x coordinate of either 3 or minus 5. So you'll shove them both back through the original equation to get two y coordinates of minus 60 and 196. So your stationary points are 3 minus 60 and uh, minus 5. 196 and without the graph you may be asked to um, uh, talk about 
maximum and minimum points and we'll talk about it later but if we differentiate this again differ diff the diff as it's known bring the power to the front so it'll be 6x this is going to be awful 6x plus 6 like that and we call that d squared y oh this is going to go bad this is so difficult to do d squared y over dx squared oh dear there we go dx squared and if we put with um, x coordinates through that uh, and we get that to be less than zero then it's a maximum so let's put with three through if we get three uh, so it'll be 18 plus 6, which is 24. That's a positive number, so it's going to be a minimum point. And that looks right from the graph there. It's a minimum point. But if we put well, minus 5 through, we're going to get a negative answer. It's going to be minus 24, which will be therefore a maximum point. And that means that'll be up here, which looks looks right to me. That looks like a maximum point. Um, interestingly, if uh, the second derivative equals zero it's a point of inflection as it's known that just means that it's kind of like stopping and then turn again that's your generic x cubed graph there um, but we won't talk about that too much that is pretty much the end of the lesson we'll talk more about min and max points uh, later in the course and obviously there's loads of stuff on YouTube about them already <clears throat> I hope you guys have found this helpful. The next lesson will definitely be integration. I promise you that much. And um, yeah, I hope you guys will join me for that one. This is Stationary Points. And uh, yeah, I hope you found this helpful. Best of luck with your OCR FSMQ if it's coming up soon. 6th of June this year, I think. Um, so that's something to look forward to. Leave your comments down below if you need any help. And there's also a worksheet in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys for integration. Bye bye.